Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to season one, episode four. This one is called Against All Odds. Now, I got some great personal news to share with you guys, but I'm going to hold that on. I'm going to hold on to that for a moment. Now, let me tell you guys this. Right now, yes, I'm doing this about the clinical years of medicine. So let's just focus on that aspect for a moment. Let's say you're a medical student. Or you know what? Forget the medical student. Just say you're a student, period. You got an exam you got to study for, right? And let's say, I don't know, let's say you haven't been in school your whole life or you're just coming back to school and school's hard for you. Yeah, the odds are against you succeeding, passing, even doing well, the odds are even more against you, right? Think about it. You're going to go to a horse race, you're going to bet on a horse, or you're going to gamble on something to show you the odds, right? Odds of, you know, two to one, whatever, you got a better chance. Odds of like 50 to one, that's horrible, but you know, you know what's so awesome? All right, for the guy who wins two to one, yeah, whatever, you're expected to win anyways. I mean, that's awesome. We would like to get to that point. But for the guy who still goes in 50 to one, let's see, a few things. Yeah, he's insane. He's crazy. Why are you doing this? But the person, the guy or the girl who goes in, who's educated, who's put their work into it, it's not just a random gamble. Yo, the winnings from that, oh my God, are phenomenal. Like, even just on, like, gamble, right? I'm not trying to get you guys to gamble, but I'm trying to get you guys to not afraid to take the risks that you prepare for. So, what am I saying? All right, here's my news, right? I failed out of medical school in 2008, and I've been trying to apply to this other school. Now, let me tell you, if you don't know already, I've already been accepted into a second medical school. I finished two years of it. Now, I could stay in this medical school and finish my other two years and get my MD, but, you know, there are reasons, personal reasons, I wanted to take this other one. I feel, it would be, uh, I feel it would be a better fit for me. So I feel, let me do this. Maybe it will help my chances of residency and whatnot, financially, everything. But the odds were against me. Why? Because in this school's 35-year history or more, older than I am, they have never accepted one medical student who's failed out of a medical school in the past. So why? Why should I leave my safe zone? Why should I leave the school I'm in? I'm already on the road to MD. All I got to do is continue. Why should I take a risk to increase my chances? You know why? Personally, because I prepared and I feel I deserve it. And even though the odds are against me, I took it. And you know what? Just a couple days ago, I got accepted. I changed freaking history, at least for that medical school. That opens the doors. Now, hopefully, students can keep going in. But forget about me. I want to tell you, it's all baby steps. It wasn't like I was like, yo, today I'm going to wake up, I'm going to go fail out of school, and I'm going to go change that history. No. All you got to do is not be afraid to take a risk that you believe in yourself. People might believe in you, right? It's easier to believe in somebody, say, oh, man, yo, you got this exam. But when it comes to yourself, you're like, um, uh, what do I do, right? So here it is. It doesn't matter if it's sports. You're afraid, train. You know what? Failure is, it's like a, it's a stepping stone, really, right? It's an obstacle, but you jump over obstacles. Man, these are just things that are in your way. They're part of life. The problem is we look at them as endpoints. They're not endpoints. They're actually stepping stones. If you step them, you go up. So take that risk. You've prepared for it. I'm not saying go gamble, but, you know, prepare and go do that risk. So that's it on this one. I got a pack. I'm actually moving out of this place. I'm getting ready to go down to Miami, Florida from New York. So, uh, you know, not the next episode, but maybe two or three episodes from now, I'll be coming at you from Miami, South Beach. Yo, your boy's making big moves. Holla at your boy. Yo, make those big moves. Believe in yourself. Keep going. Holla.